Okay. Now that we're done with step number 11, let us do step number 12. We are almost done, guys. Okay. Uh, the instruction reads as follows. Uh, to compare the Kotsali sales of each region visually, select the range that represents the sales figures for the four quarters, including the quarter names and each region. Do not include any totals in the range. With this data selected by using the recommended chart uh, command, insert a clustered column in chart uh, with the region as the category axis and the quotas as the legend. Okay, this is important. The regions must be uh, the category axis and the quotas as the legend. Okay, so we go back to our working document. Uh, they told us that we need to select all these okay except for the totals then click on insert uh, these are your recommended chats uh, or chats mm -hmm. recommended chats click on this one here so you see the quotas are the legend in this one uh, the regions are your category axis okay so we are going to select this one click on ok and uh, what else did they say we should do? Let's go back to our instructions to confirm. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Okay, we are done with step number uh, 12. Let us just continue and do step number 13 on this same video. Okay. Uh, it says that we need to apply chart style 8. Uh, change the colors by applying the third uh, row of colors under color field. Okay. Then after doing that, it says we need to position the upper middle sizing handle of the chart on the line between column D and column what E and just below row 9. Okay, that is important. We should go back to our working document. Okay, uh, to change the style. Okay, uh, after selecting or after creating your chart, it will take you to the design. Uh, page. This is where you get the styles. Okay, not in, not on your formatting page, but on your design tab. I mean, okay. Then this is the aged one here. If you move or if you hover your your cursor uh, over this thing, you'll see it says style eight. Click on this one. Remember, they said we need to change colors and, and select the third row. Okay, row one, row two, row three. So we're going to select this one. Okay, after doing this, they told us that we need to go take this, okay? Uh, you see, the middle sizing one is this one, is this thing here, this one. So it must be between uh, column, column D and column E, okay? Uh, just below row 9, okay? You need to put this here, okay? Should be okay, but must be at the center. Okay, I think that's is it fine? Tell me guys. Damn, I can't put this. I'm missing the hole, guys. <laughs> okay, yeah, so we're basically we're basically done with uh, step number 13, okay? Keep on saving and then